Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. Today is Monday, and the date is 22 of February 2021. We're learning about what if it is. Tell me. We are learning about traces of the past. It's like, um, it's like the, um, it's like the animals, uh, fossils, and the excellent. Footprints. We are learning about fossils. Very good, very good. Excellent, Efiros. And we took yesterday two processes: how fossils are forming, and what Italia? Footprints. And how coal Foot are forming. And how coal are forming. Today we we will learn about oil. First of all, let's go through fossils, how they are like, forming. Are we late? Are we la am I late? Yes, I'm really sorry. Most of you are late. Yes. Oh, that's the well, starting from my London. Yeah. Please, please, please do not do it again. You need to okay. enter at the time. You're eight minutes late. Okay, love. So first okay. of all, fossils, how fossils are forming. The first step in all processes is the same. Can you tell me, girls, what is the first step that uh, in in making fossils? Um, an animal dies and then settles on something and then it takes its shape. It's in the bottom of the water, yeah, Tyler. This is the first step in all processes, even in coal or oil. It depends, or uh, uh, is it an animal dying or a plant is dying? Both of them, they will sit where? At the bottom of a body of water. When they sit at the bottom of a body of water, now they are differs. The second step in fossils, what happens? Sediment to do what? Hmm. What? Sediment will, will what? This is the second step. Can you see the second step? Yeah, sediment, uh, they burn, they bury. bury animals. And over time, what happens? Uh, the soft parts of the animal de decay. Decay. Decay means uh, uh, goes very um, uh, bad. And there is, can you see there is no tissues? and the situation is not really good over here. Third thing that can happen, it will become hard and preserved in sediment as fossil. It will preserved. Okay, after that, how coal is forming? Look at coal. Also, the first step is the same step. Is it plant or animal dying? Who is dying over here? Plants. Plants, excellent. Plants are dying and settling where? At the bottom of a body of water. The same thing happens with fossils. They are buried by what? Coal. Coal. No, they are buried by? Sediments. Sediments, excellent. Later, temperature and pressure must rise so it can squeeze out all the water no more water will be there wow. remains they will change to peat so whenever you see the word peat you know it is about coal because peat will change to coal later in the third step okay girls yes all right so does peat give off heat and smoke or what? Hmm. Yes. Yes, uh, what? Peat does yeah, not it get heated. Peat give off heat and smoke, bo both of them? No, no, it only gets heated. Firuz, focus, my love. It will get what? focus. I want you to tell me, peat will give off heat and smoke or what? Uh, Read, peat does not... Does not give a lot of heat. 
It produces a lot of what? Smoke. Excellent. When it burns. So the first thing before coal form, we it forms something called what, Ya Amal? It forms something called? Peat. Peat. Excellent. Peat. And then peat will continue to compress and be heated. So after a while, pressure and heat will continue. And when it continues, over time, all of the water is gone and coal will be formed. From what? From peat. Excellent. And most of coal is made of car uh, pure carbon, okay? And you should know about coal that it produces a lot of heat and a little bit smoke. Unlike peat, it produces heat and not a lot of smoke. Okay, fossil fuels. What are fossil fuels? Who can tell me? What are fossil fuels? I know what are fossil fuels. Please tell me. It's an energy that is rich and like it, it's like it gets energy and electricity for us and it's buried underground. Excellent, excellent. It forms from the buried remains of once living organisms. Yes, excellent. So it can be uh, buried plants, animals, this is how they can form if it's coal sometimes. Fossil fuels can be coal, they can be oil. Now let's take a look at oil, how oil can be formed. First of all, there are tiny diatoms, they, they are on organisms, okay? They help to form oil and natural gas. These are the diatoms. Can you see the picture of the diatoms? This is a close up picture. Hmm. Can you see the diatoms? These organisms help oil to be formed, okay? Imagine how many millions of them were needed to produce the fossil fuels. Now let's see the steps that fossil fuels, or, or let's say oil, how they form. Who can tell me? It is the same first one. It is the same first step. I know. Yes. Okay, where are the others? Where are the others? Please, go, uh, girls, where are you? Mariana, Judy, Here. Judy, G, uh, Jenna, Tina, you, you need to participate. Here. Okay, love. Now tell me, Mariana, what is the first step over here? Tala, either you, you open your camera yeah. or close it, please. Okay, okay. okay. Miss uh, Mariana, please tell me. What is the first Many step? tiny sea organisms die and settle to the bottom of the ocean where they are buried by sediment. Excellent, excellent. So tiny sea organisms, it can be uh, animals, it can be uh, plants, any tiny organism at the sea, when they die, they will be buried where? At the bottom of the ocean and they will be buried by sediment. All of them, they buried by sediment. What happens then by looking at the picture? What do you think it is happening over here? It's um, the weight of both sediment. And water. Oh, it will, and water, it will cause, uh, it will cause the temperature and pressure to rise. Excellent. High temperature and high pressure to rise. It, it will bring high temperature and high pressure over here. Can you see? It is still green right now. It is still green. After it dies, it will go down, down, and it will be buried by under the sediment and water. And then later, water and uh, sediment will raise up the pressure and the temperature. What happens next? After a while, with high temperature and high pressure, who can tell me? I know, I know. Please, guys, where's Judy? Judy, read for oh, me, please, my love. Yes. Read for me. Eventually. Eventually, all that's left of organisms is hyd hyd 
hydrogen and carbon. Hydrogen and carbon. Oil and nature gas form. Form form from these elements. So oil, what does oil need? What are the elements that oil needs? Um, hmm. high, hydrogen and carbon. Excellent, hydrogen and carbon. So oil to be formed, it needs hydrogen and carbon. And this is what is left over from the plants and animals that li live in the sea. And this is what happens when they are compressed and high heated by sediments and ocean. They turn into oil. They need millions of years to be formed. They do not form easily. After millions of years later, what happened? People are gonna dig for oil. Why? They use it for why? For what? Hmm, natural gas, oil. Why do people use natural gas or oil? No. Hmm, who knows? Because like when they want to fill up their cars. Excellent. Like machines. They can work up with machines and like, you know. Yes, excellent, excellent. Trains, also airplanes, all these work with uh, fossil, with the oil and uh, natural okay. gas. Very good, very good. Now, why do we learn about fossils? What can fossil tell us? Who can tell me? Why would you learn about fossil? Why do we learn about fossil? Who, who knows? To see the animals that used to be existed. Excellent, excellent. To see what animals used to be existed. Excellent. This is a good answer. And what do you think, Ya Amal? Huh? Jude, why do we learn about fossil? So we can know what happens to them. Very good. We can know what happens to them. What are the animals we can or see the how living? Much, like they changed. Nice, we can see the change, how much they change. Very good answers, thank you. Lovely, what else? There are more, what else? So when we see bones like in the floor, we know it's fossils Then we learn about. We learn about animals that lived in the past. Very good, very nice. How about we learn about the uh, the places that were existed because not all animals uh, can live in the same place so we can know what are the places that they lived in. For example, look at this picture. This is a woolly mammoth. Do you see woolly mammoth uh, these days? They are very no, rare. Yes, why? Why, yeah, Tala, they because are... They're, they're what? kind of dinosaurs. Not really. They used to live in the ice age. They used to live in ice age when, cli when the climate was very cold. They used to live in the cold. But now most of elephants, they live where? In warm climate. So mammoth, only woolly mammoth, they live in the frozen areas or uh, cold climates. But nowadays, where do they live? In Africa and like, yes. you know. Not very cold that. climate, in warm climate. Excellent. They live in Africa and Africa is not really cold. Africa is really hot. So these fossils we learned about, uh, uh, let us learn about the woolly mammoth. Let's take a look at the fish. These are different kinds of fishes, okay? These fishes are very different from nowadays fish. First of all, jawless fish, this is a jawless fish. From its name, it doesn't have jaws. At the beginning, when they existed, they, would, they, didn't, they did not have jaws. After time, they developed to have very strong jaws to eat and defend themselves. We call this one an armored fish. This is an armored fish. 
armored fish have a very strong jaws and it looks creepy and dangerous. Look at the eyes and the jaws. They are very, very dangerous and strong. What about this one? Hmm, who can read for me? Read for me the modern fish, please. Yes, I can. Please read. Fish have changed a lot over time. The first fish had no jaw jars. Over time, fish developed jar jars and became lar larger. Lar I mean, some fish. Some fish developed heavy armor plates, plates that covered their bodies. Bodies fish today have jaws but no arm more. Excellent, excellent. So these two. Fishes, these two kinds, there are no more two uh, from these two fishes. You cannot find an armored fish or a jawless fish. Only this type, the modern one, you can see. Why? They are adapted to the environment around them. They are adapted to uh, the living things that they are living now nowadays around them. Also, we had something called the ginkgo tree. The ginkgo tree has been around for at least 420 million years. That's a lot. The, uh, the leaves of today's ginkgo look very similar to those that grew long ago. Okay, organisms that look as uh, if they have not changed much over time, they are uh, sometimes called living fossils because they have not changed from long time. That's why they, they, they call it a living fossil because this is the most, let's say, uh, something did not really change. All right, girls, let's see. Scientists who study fossils, what, are, what, do, they, what do we call them? Do you have any idea? Um, what is paleontologist? Excellent, again. Paleontologist. Excellent. Paleontologist. So people or scientists who study fossils, we call them paleontologists. Okay, lovelies, we have 10 minutes. So I would like to do the summit up with you, only the first page. Up into page 460 together. Up into page 460 together. I opened it. Very nice. Now I want you to trace off the past, okay? This is the summary of our lesson. If you understand with me, you can do it all. Now A, fossils are the preserved parts or traces of past life. B, how fossils forms, remember? Number two, how fossils are formed. You have the steps one, two, three. First step, organism will die and settle on the bottom of a lake ocean. What happens next? Who can tell me? You have, um, the, yes. Mm -hmm. The sediment like. Excellent. Sediment to do what? It goes on top of the fossil. So it buries the organisms. Excellent, yeah, Maria, bravo, bravo, bravo. After sediments burying the uh, uh, organism, what happens? Hard parts are preserved in sediments Excellent. and fossil. Excellent, so the hard parts will be preserved as fossils. Very good. And we learned about kinds of fossils. We have preserved in amber or ice, Yesterday, uh, Tina showed us an example of fossils. So number one, we have something preserved in amber or ice, just like the ant, remember the ant? And we have carbon film or trace fossil, just like the bee we saw on the rock. 
What is the second uh, type of fossils? Hmm. The ones that burn. Okay. It is, I think, the one that has carbon film. What about mold and mold and cast uh, uh, fossils? Remember the mold and cast fossils? Go to the first page. Let's see. The kind, three kinds. You have three kinds of fossils. This one. Hmm. Remember this one? Just like the waxing, uh, when I told you, when you put your hand inside a wax, so you or uh, your fist inside a wax and you want to, to have the shape of your hand or, f uh, or, or of your fist, and this is how they do most a mold and cast, but this yeah. one makes fossil. So the second type is mold and cast fossils. Hmm. Who will continue with me? Then we learned about fossils that burn. Fossils that burn. Hmm. A. Read for me, please. Who can read? Fossil fuels are fuels that come from the decay and change the ancient organisms. Excellent. B, how coal forms. You know how coal forms. Number one, of course, plants die. They settle to the bottom of a lake pond. I want to do They are buried. Number two, tell me, what is number Feroz, two? Feroz. Yes, if it was. Drive off water and change the remain into a pea. Okay, what to drive off water? What do you need to drive off water and change it to peat? Temperature and, uh, temperature and pressure. Excellent. You need high temperature and high pressure to change the, uh, the remains into peat. The third step is you need more hmm, compression and heat result. It's become what? It will change the peat to what? Come on. A hard coal uh -huh. made of carbon. Excellent, excellent. It will change it to hard uh, coal made of pure carbon. Finally, how oil and natural gas are formed? Miss, but like, how, when are we going to write it? I'm going to put for you the answers and you still have five minutes to write. Yes, it's 10.50 and your uh, break starts 10.55. Now tell me, tiny ocean organism die and settle in the bottom and buried. We know that all the first steps are the same in each process. Now, oil, the weight of overlying sediment and water will cause what? Oh, I know. Yes. Yes, uh, it causes the pressure to rise. Excellent. Finally, what forms from hydrogen and carbon? I want I some, someone else, please. What forms from hydrogen and carbon? Hi, Judy, you read that no, part. Judy, you read Oil. that. Excellent, very good. Oil and natural gas. Yes, excellent. So oil and the natural gas will form from hydrogen and carbon. Very good. Now I'm gonna put for you the answer, answers. All right, girls, you have four minutes to copy. I'm gonna stop the recording right now. Let's say bye-bye to recording.